Cancer, welcome to your sexual tarot reading for the month of February. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Yes, I do sexual tarot. Sexual energy is but one more method in which to look at our relationships. What's going on, where they're going, and why. One of the number one questions I get in private readings is this going somewhere. Hence, sexual tarot. Easy piece. Not a big deal. Honestly, they're like very shorter versions of the general love readings, just like with some sexual twists. You know, as you'll see. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? And yes, I do provide those private readings. If that's something you're interested in, check out the description box, okay? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Your career tarot reading mm, wasn't easy. It was not the easiest thing. I saw heavy partnership aspects. Let me tell you. <sighs> it's frustrating. So I'd like to see something a little more fun for you. I would love to. What's going on? What's going on, please? Mm-hmm. Split. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Tell me what I need to see, please, for that Cancerian sexual energy. Take what resonates, leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it. Okay? If it sounds like I'm describing your person or the situation, there you go. Reverse those energies as it applies. What's going on, please? What's currently going on for Cancer, please? What's currently going on, please, in that sexual energy for Cancer? What's currently going on, please, for that sexual energy for Cancer? Judgment. Ooh in the starting out position, eh? Judgment. Some would say that Scorpio's card. Personally, I think that's up for debate. Um, some of you are trying to keep the greater thing in mind. Judgment. Comeback call. Opportunity. Missed opportunity. Opportunity to take. Is the timing right? Divine timing, etc., etc. Judgment has a lot of interpretations, so we definitely need to clarify that. Somebody might be thinking about coming back around to you, and Kansas is like, are you serious, honey? You might be thinking of doing a comeback call. Some of you are just simply deeply spiritual. Okay. We gotta, we gotta figure that one out. Show me, is there mutual energy, please? Is there mutual energy, please? Is there mutual energy here? Is there mutual energy here, please, between Cancer and a person? Show me that mutual. Stars, let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I'm, uh... There's hope for this. Whatever there's, a, it's hope between the both of you, by the way, it's mutual. There's hope between the both of you. Wish fulfillment. I'm definitely seeing the higher levels of, of hope. Possibly a fantasy element. The stars. Can I reach for the stars, or is it just this far away concept I will never be able to grasp? I don't know. Let's keep going. Show me the strengths, please. Show me the sexual energy strengths, please, for Cancer. Show me the sexual energy strengths, please, for Cancer. You pull up Aquarius a lot. Just the stars, the hope, the wish, all that. You pull up, I do. I do believe I see that card repetitiously for you. It doesn't have to mean something, but Cancers, you know, you do tend to have a lot of high hopes and that kind of thing, uh, particularly where your emotionality is concerned, so I can't say it's too surprising. Show me the strengths, please. Show me the strengths, please. Show me those strengths, please. Show me the, okay. Ten of Wands, you're willing to assume a new burden. Oh, yes. In other words, self-sacrifice here. Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is a burden. I have to point this out because it really frustrates me in terror when they don't say this or they don't know to say this, and that's really frustrating. Ten of Wands is a burden of choice. Those things we choose to carry. Nobody told you to, right? So that's like career. That's long-term relationships. Your strengths are is that you're willing to take on a burden. Okay, so this person that you might be into might have a lot attached to them. You seem to be willing to take it on. This is also the card of first penetration. So, strengths are some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all willing to, to jump on that with somebody. But it looks like they might have a lot of baggage attached to them. We'll find out. But there's a hope and a wish between the both of you. Your strength stars that for some reason I feel like I'm looking at a Cancer who's willing to assume a lot of burden where this person is concerned. A lot of sacrifice energy. Okay. We're going to see what that means. All right. You assuming a great deal of emotional burden is nothing new to Cancer. It's like, um, it's almost like a point of pride for you. You know? It's one of Cancer's superpowers is that you can assume a great deal of emotional burdens and responsibility. That's by default, all our pros are cons, all our cons are pros, all our strengths are weaknesses, all our weaknesses are strengths. So, be careful with that, yeah? Show me the weaknesses, please. Let's see what's going on. Show me the weaknesses, please. It's 
issues. Nine of Pentacles getting into that physical energy, quite simply. Okay, in this deck, Nine of Pentacles, one of my favorites, <laughs> is deep diving into a person's physical energy. So how do you do it? How do you have first penetration with this person? How do you get it all up into their physical energy? How do you make it happen? Mm. There's also a possessive quality here. Some of you fear that concept of possession or possessing someone else's energy or someone sees you as being too possessive or clingy or that kind of thing. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. And show me the outcome, please, for this connection. Show me the outcome, please, for this connection. Strength. Let me know if you're dealing with the Leo. you got a lot of power on this board, honey. You might need strength for this, like I said. For some reason, this hope and wish wouldn't be so high between the two of you if there weren't complications attached to it. Hence, the Ten of Wands. How do I get in there? It's going to take you strength to take this on or strength to push it away. This is why we clarify. Okay? What the heck is going on here? Cancer. Cancer, it's like your, your stuff just tends to be go big or go home. <laughs> And Karen's like, oh yeah, tell me something I don't know. I know, I know. Your stuff really does tend to be go big or go home. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for cancer? What's going on for cancer, please? Show me what I need to see. Show me the best possible clarification for cancer. What's going on there? Oh, that's a hell of a thing. It was smooth until it wasn't. Okay. Show me judgment. Why is that here? For the current. Why is Cancer experiencing judgment? Missed opportunity, divine timing, God knows. Judgment, show... See, what's trying to come out there? The Emperor, being firm about it. Being firm about what? Being firm about it. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment. Judgment over judgment. Twenty over twenty. <clears throat> A very strong sense here that you want the divine timing to be just right. And it's looking mutual when you pull up doubles like that, which you do a lot. Unresolved stuff between two people. It's already kind of headed in that direction, isn't it? That would ex that would explain why you're so willing to you're willing to assume so much burden for this person, okay? I'm talking about missed opportunities in the past. Two people who could never come together. Divine timing. The timing's never right. <laughs> I don't know how long you've been waiting for this person, but time is here, like a lot of it, and it's looking mutual. You've been manifesting for a long time, Cancer. I hope you have not been waiting unnecessarily for someone. And it looks like they feel the same way, but that doesn't mean anything if you can't come together. I, the, the implication of time here for such a short board is incredibly strong. I don't know how long you guys have been waiting for some of your... It's looking like... Some Cancers have been waiting unnecessarily long for someone, and someone feels that way about you. It could be one, the other, or the both. Okay, can I get, what's judgment here? Why is judgment here? Some of you have missed multiple opportunities with the same person. Some of you needed to hear that. Show me judgment, please. Can I get a better idea of what's going on here? Five of Wands. Why the fighting? Why the fighting, please? Show me the Five of Wands. Why the fighting? Why the struggle? Fighting yourself about following the love. Many of you have fought off this idea of new love for the sake of someone for whom you are very much attached to. Many of you have consciously pushed off this idea of new love for the insistence of someone who seems to be far out of your reach. Cancer. I mean, I'm talking this is active. Many of you have actively avoided new love for the insistence upon someone, and there's a time gap between you two. I'm talking multiple missed opportunities with the same person over and over again over a period of time. Sexual terror is not meant to run back this far. The implication of time is real. 
missed opportunities over and over again with the same person, someone who means a great deal to you, that you have passion for, that you see a ten of pentacles with, and then also keeps you locked in this fucking headspace, eight of swords. Your hope and vision of the future of this person is what kept you from actively pursuing new love. In fact, you consciously fought against it. You've had opportunities over the years to connect a new love in different ways and with different people, and you've actively rejected them or forsaken them for, the, for this idea of one person. Show me the stars. Show me the stars. Show me the stars, please. Show me the stars, please. The, the, the concept of timing is... Not so great. Not so great here, Cancer. Let me know if you're going with Scorpio. Death over the hopes and wish. Oh my god, Cancer, why? 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 You're holding out hope for someone who just... You're not together. Your reasons are your own. But I can tell you this, this is not a general love reading. It's not supposed to expand this far. Your sexual and emotional energy is tied to someone that you simply are not with. There was opportunities, and those opportunities were never made good upon. And you have actively pushed away new love since for this dedication and loyalty to someone who it looks like you cannot have. Your reasons are your own. I just, if you have this much love... I feel like I'm looking at a Cancer who's put their love for this one person on an altar and they worship it, they worship the idea of it, but that's never come together. A great deal, like you have put this person up on a pedestal of ideal love and simply you cannot have them. They recognize it too, because it's mutual. It has not come together. Perhaps they're in a relationship, perhaps you were, the both of you were, timing, missed opportunities, things never leveling up. All I see is missed opportunity over and over again with the same person. Your sexual, never mind your emotional energies, would not sync up. And it's, it's, I'm heavy, heavy, heavy idealization of someone that you cannot have. The romantic piece. Let's see if that changes. That would explain why in your strength, this is a burden. This has become a burden, a strength to you. Like you're proud to kind of assume this emotional attachment for someone it looks like you cannot have. That you would assume a great deal of burden for what you have. You've assumed, as I was speaking to earlier, there's a reason I said what I said. You have assumed a great deal of emotional burden when it comes to this person. It does not look like you can have them. But you put this love for them, this this idealization, this romantic notion of them on a pedestal. It's its almost altar-like. It's almost worshipping. So, okay. You've thought about it and you insist that they're your two of cups. That's why. Let me know if you're dealing with Virgo. And your strengths, these are your estimated strengths. You would assume a great deal of burden and you have assumed a great deal of emotional burden for this person, never mind your sexual energy. You are certain in your deep down core Cancerian level that this is your Two of Cups. That's why you're so devoted to this energy, even though you're clearly not engaged with them. Okay. It's a far-reaching concept that has not come together, has not been. You would assume a great deal of burden for this person. You wouldn't think twice about it, because as far as you're concerned and or convinced that this person is your Two of Cups, Show me the Nine of Pentacles, please, as the weakness, the issues, obstacles. Show me that Nine of Pentacles energy. Show me that Nine of Pentacles energy, please. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. Firm. Card varies. Your person or you, firm. We will not be possessing each other's energy. This is a firm decision. Not going to happen. This person's looking back at you. Not gonna happen. Nine of Pentacles into that. Either this person wants to remain single, or I'm telling you they're in a commitment. Where you are, or the both of you. 
Firm. It's not going to happen. This person is insistent on either being single or they are in a committed relationship and you have been waiting unnecessarily on them for a long time. Show me the emperor. Yeah, the communication is low. So is the interest. This is interest, curiosity, the spark. It's low level. They show you very little. I don't know why you're so dedicated to this person's energy. But those reasons are your own. Firm. Now, it could be that some of you were quite firm and that I refuse to share my physical energy with someone I cannot have, despite the fact that you feel the two of cups with them. You had repeated missed opportunities with this person. Repeated. And whatever reason, you want to call it divine timing, fine. But um, the weakness is, this is a weakness. Somebody feels uh, in their hearts that uh, the physical energy piece is a weakness and they're being firm about it, too. This is a firm decision. You or them, I don't know. Somebody who refuses to engage with you physically because they insist on being single and they know you want more and they don't feel the two of cups with you, but you do. Um, God knows. God knows. And this is a firm decision, so the communication is low. Show me strength, please, as the outcome. Show me strength, please, as the outcome. Blockage. Show me strength, please. You insist that this person is your Six of Cups. You insist. I have memories with this person. I love them. You're taking strength in that. It's more than memories. Now, I would love to be that tarot reader. Oh, you're going to meet someone new. It's going to be a Leo, and they're your future Six of Cups. And that could be. But given your dedication, this is... Okay. Given your dedication to this energy that does not seem to be reciprocating, okay, you have actively pushed off new concepts of love for the sake of this person that you do not seem to be able to have or possess, be it emotionally or physically. I would love to tell you, oh, Cancer, you're just going to totally drop this person and you're going to focus on a Leo and Six of Cups. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> Given the dedication of your energy, I'm not going to say something stupid or assholey like that. I'm going to tell you like it is. As far as I can tell, you are determined to stick to this person as your Six of Cups. Um, it's the memories that are tying you. You still show this person love. I, I believe you send out messages where you can. Okay. The Knight of Cups, their reception is small. The Page of Wands. Okay. Your reasons for being dedicated to this energy are your own, but uh, you insist on loving this person. You do, as far as I can tell. I do hope new love messages are sent to you. Truly, I do. That's always a possibility. But the Six of Cups here implies old, familiar energy. Who knows? You might have some unexpected messages coming in, particularly from the Leo. Okay. But as far as I can tell, you have continued to forsake new ideas of love, never mind sexual energy, with someone that you, you cannot have. And you both know it. Death is over the stars. You both know it. I, I do feel like you're holding not just a candle, but a fucking torch for this person. I don't know what they did to earn it, but in your estimation, they're worth it. They're worth longing for from a distance. They're both, they're worth loving from a distance. They have like what looks like you're undedicated, like, I mean, I'm sorry, you're fully dedicated energy and just devotion. Okay, you think so well of this person, but they've made a conscious decision to not share any of their physical energy with you. And they it looks like they give you bare minimum communication, too. I'm talking like curiosity check-in with that page of wands. You know? I do hope you start receiving new love messages from somebody in the future. Truly, I do. But I do believe that's you, as the Knight of Cups, continuing to show love to the Six of Cups. Okay? Insistence, strength, stubbornness, insistence, insistence. Again, the dedication in you and the loyalty to this person are unreal. <clears throat> Some of this emperor, I want to see this emperor. I want to know who the hell it is that's got so much of your undying loyalty. I want to know. You know, um... I want to know why they have all this undying loyalty from you. What did they do to deserve it? That's up for you to know. 
It might well be a Two of Cups, but that doesn't obligate them to feel it, experience it, or say it. You know? Some of this emperor, please, I do feel strongly that that's your other person, and they have a very strong will, too. They refuse to share their physical energy, or they refuse to not be single, something like that. Like, they don't want higher levels of commitment, and they know that you do. Someone who meditates a great deal, the Four of Swords. Okay, someone who has done a great deal of healing. What about it? What else about this emperor, please? I need more confirmation. There's judgment again. They've done a great deal of thinking about the opportunities missed, past, etc. Judgment's here three times, honey. You two have cycled around this a couple of times. A couple of times. Why? Why? Why don't the energies engage? Why don't their energies engage? Why don't their energies engage, please? They thought about it a great deal, too. Why won't their energies engage, please? Okay. Why won't their energies engage, please? I just saw briefly strength card with justice. They don't want commitment. And uh, that's why they keep you at bay, because they know that you do. But you still insist on loving them, even if it's from a distance. What else, please? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. They give you a little bit here and there, too. Six of Cups. But there's something here that they do not want, and they know that you do. And that's why they've made a determination to not engage in your energies. I feel like that, see, they keep you at a distance. They keep you at a distance. They keep you at a distance. Too much conflict here. Too much indecision conflict about what this person really wants. But I do see that their insistence is that they don't want anything beyond that Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, but your devotion to them seems to hold up nonetheless. I mean, again, your reasons are your own. But I do believe, honestly, and that it might be that this person has concluded cancer is just a friend. I don't know. God, dude, seriously, I would love to say something not like this, honey. I do believe you're going to continue to show this person love, though. Show me that Knight of Cups, please. Show me that Knight of Cups, please. I need to wrap this up. But show me the Knight of Cups, please. Yeah. You keep it balanced. See, these, these, okay. 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 I want you to see the dynamic of this with your own eyes. Okay? Six of Pentacles. And then we have the two court cards. They're facing away from each other. King of Cups. This is part of who you are. This is who they are. The Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, the King of Wands. Why did I say that? Sex-relevant tarot. They look to keep things fair and balanced, practical. Give a little, get a little. And that's you wanting this. This is what they're giving you. This is what you have to offer. You see how they don't match up. You want more, and they have no intention of giving you that, whatever that is. So, you continue to show them love. Let's make that clear. You continue to show them love, okay? And they continue to show you balance. Practical balance. Give and take energy. A little bit here and there. Conversational level, that kind of thing. All right? Some would say it's breadcrumbing. There's a Six of Cups here twice. I do believe that they are very much familiar with your emotionality and what it is that you want, and they don't want it. Your wants do not match up. Okay. I don't want that for you, Cancer. I don't want that for you. But you love this person, you love this person. I'm just saying this love for this person has gone on a long time. A long time. And every time you had an opportunity to meet with them in the physical realm or to make your energies... It was just constant missed opportunity. You holding out for love. Them, I know you have romantic feelings. You also tr you trust this person, too. You trust this person. I see it. I don't know what they did to deserve all this, but that's up to you. Retreat. You need to take, honey, you need to take a time out. It is safe for you to love. You need to retreat. I do believe you need to explore new cups, but that's my opinion based on what I'm seeing here. As far as I can see, they're... I don't know what they're doing to deserve your undying loyalty and love. I have no idea. Okay. Cancer, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit.
Take care. Be well.